Now, the question is this. I am 220 pounds, 100 kilograms, 1,000 newtons. I want to walk a mile. I want to run a mile. Doesn't matter. Work says force times distance. It doesn't say anything about time. So, force times distance. A thousand newtons times a mile, which is 1,600 meters, is 1,600,000 joules. Okay? Now, <clears throat> you may have done last year converting from joules to calories. So let's do that, okay? One calorie is 4.18 joules. One calorie is 4.18 joules. So divide by joules, multiply by calories, 4.18 joules calories, so the joules cancels, okay? Now convert to kilocalories. I'll show you why I want you to do that in a minute, but try that. Divide by calories, multiply by kilocalories, okay? Thousand calories in a kilocalorie. Now, another word for kilocalorie is kilo scientific calories kilo scientific calories. 1,000 scientific calories, one kilo scientific calorie is a large C dietary calorie, okay? So get rid of kilocalories and go to calories, okay? So one dietary calorie. This is a Dietary calorie. Dietary calorie. Okay? Dietary calorie. Capital C A L. So, multiply all that out. 1,600,000 divided by 4.18 divided by 1,000 equals 383 calories. So, I will burn if I walk or run. I will burn 383 calories. It's not up for discussion. That's the way it is. You don't like it? Well, I don't care. That's the way it is. I don't know who says what to you, but if you run or walk, you, you use the same amount of energy, same amount of work, running or walking. And in my case, 383 calories. That's because I am a thousand newtons. If you're if you're half my my size, then you would be half that. 190, 191.5. So okay. So this is the question. Is it the same power if you walk or run? What's the power involved? Okay, what's the power? Be right back.